Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be discussing the estrogen lowering benefits of Polyrachis black ant. There is a wide variety of targets that have been identified as key players in the development of pretty much every disease state. So everything from prostate cancer to breast cancer to hypothyroidism to autoimmune conditions to even things like HIV and AIDS have been found to have many contributing factors. So this is another way of saying that there is no single cause for a chronic or degenerative disease. Most of these disease states that we talk about a lot on this YouTube channel and that people are experiencing today have many contributing factors or target sources. But of the many contributing factors, one of the central key players in the development of all of these conditions, but primarily the pathogenesis of prostate disease and prostate cancer and breast cancer, estrogen and the estrogen receptors have been identified to play major roles in the development of all of these conditions and more, which is why we talk so often about estrogen on this channel and give you tips as to how to lower estrogen. Although estrogen is considered to be this health promoting hormone and it does have important roles in the body in the right amount, Estrogen, when elevated beyond normal levels, which is very easy to do to elevate estrogen beyond its normal range, is known to contribute to a wide variety of negative health symptoms. Again, everything from prostate cancer to the development of breast cancer, the enlargement of the prostate, hypothyroidism, autoimmune conditions, diabetes, and even hair loss all have direct correlations to elevated levels of estrogen in the body. And in both men and women, the reasons for elevated levels of estrogen are often due to various stressors. So I talk a lot about the research that points out estrogen stressful effects, particularly its ability to stimulate the HPA axis and increase the production of various stress hormones like cortisol. And in addition to that, something as simple as exercise stress can actually stimulate the conversion of your androgens into more estrogen. So a lot of the times the conditions that are blamed on androgens or considered to be androgen driven conditions like male pattern baldness, hirsutism or polycystic ovarian syndrome are actually caused by stress which overstimulates the adrenal glands in the production of adrenal steroids like DHEA and other androgens that are then aromatized into estrogen. So it's actually stress that contributes to these conditions and the conversion of those androgens into estrogen and the estrogen having the major negative effect on the body. And this isn't necessarily new information. In fact, research has found that by inhibiting the cytochrome enzyme known as aromatase, which causes this conversion of androgens into estrogen, is is actually incredibly therapeutic for treating prostate enlargement, prostate cancer, breast cancer, and other estrogen driven issues. Which just goes to verify that it's actually the estrogen that is known to cause a lot of these pathological conditions in that the elevated levels of androgens are just a response to buffer the effects of stress. So in regards to treating these so-called androgen driven issues, it's going to be more therapeutic and more intelligent for you to correct the underlying stress that's stimulating the adrenal glands and also to inhibit that conversion of androgens into estrogen. And one of the simplest ways to achieve this is through the use of anti-aromatase substances, which are basically natural substances that are known to block the activity of the aromatase enzyme, which protects your androgens from becoming the stressful and toxic estrogen in the body that contributes to all of these conditions. In fact, if we take a look at this study, rats who were fed a zinc deficient diet were found to have significantly higher levels of estrogen. And according to the research, zinc actually modulates and affects both both the enzyme 5-alpha reductase and the aromatase enzyme. So when zinc is deficient, there is a decreased functioning of actually the 5-alpha reductase enzyme, which is responsible for converting testosterone into the protective DHT, and an increased functioning of the aromatase enzyme, which converts the testosterone into more estrogen. So this would probably explain why zinc-rich foods like oyster, beef liver, and polyrachis black ant are known to be powerful sexual tonics and have a very beneficial effect on the hormones in the body. So increasing your zinc intake is known to increase the production of testosterone while decreasing the activity of the aromatase enzyme, which would further protect your testosterone from becoming estrogen. So in other words, zinc rich foods like polyrachis black ant can help to optimize the level of androgens like testosterone and DHC while lowering the production of estrogens in the body. And tying this back into the early part of this video, since estrogen 
estrogen is such a primary driver of prostate enlargement, breast cancer, and a wide variety of pathological conditions, making sure you have enough zinc in your diet, whether that's through the consumption of these zinc-rich foods or the use of something like polyrachis black ant is gonna be essential for optimizing the hormones, reducing the estrogen, and protecting yourself from these conditions. That brings this video to a close, guys. That's all I wanted to share with you today. If you found it helpful and enjoyable, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos if you haven't yet already. If you're interested in checking out the research I was sharing in this video, I'll link those studies in the description box below, along with links to our online tonic herb shop so you can learn more about the polyrachis black ant as well as links to our blog and our online wellness academy. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.